Welcome to My Best 11 podcast. Today we are joined by a fan's hero at Luton Town. Um, today we are joined by a man who spent a bit of time in non league in London at Barking Dulwich um, and spent most of his career at Luton. And through, I've looked at a few websites and it also says that he's been captain um, a few times by his country as well. Um, I don't know if that's drawn up. We'll find out a little bit later on. Today we are joined by. Um, Mecca Nwajobi. How are you, Mecca? I'm fine, Andrew. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And Marvin, Hi. thank you. Marv. You're welcome. How is it how is it getting Mecca? How do you get Mecca on? Because he's been a bit of an enigma, you said. Well, well he has and he hasn't. It's a, it's a case when I first spoke to Mecca, it was a he's the one who's been the most pushed. Marv, when are you having me on? Marv, when are you having me on? He's been. <laughs> Marv, when are you having me on? I said, Mecca, we, we, we'll come round to you, Mecca. I don't want to have all the big hitters on too early. So I'm just going to try and hold you back for a little bit. And it's Marv, <laughs> when are you having me on? Marv. So eventually now I've succumbed and we've got him on. Oh, Thank fantastic. God. Fantastic. Um, so, Mecca. Um, I know you know the format because you listen to a few of our podcasts. Um, which one's your favourite so far you've listened to? Yes, good question. Ooh. Not favourite, necessarily favourite team, because I'm sure that might give away some of the players you picked, but favourite um, podcast. Yeah. Um, Ricky. Okay. Ricky? Why is that? The way he spoke, he was calm as usual, funny, knew his stuff. Um, I li- I did. I tried to listen to the people. Oh, um, Owen. Nick, I listened oh, Nick to Owen. Nick Owen. Yeah. I listened to, listen to Nick Owen. He was going back way back. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right, which was good. You know, that's when he. Mm. That's when he grew up. Um, Tim Breaker. Yep. Were, so you like, them have, actually, did most it, of them have Did it good. remind any stories of you? Did it, did, it, did it bring back some stories for you and help you when you were doing your, your team yourself? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Did you see yourself back in that dressing room when they were telling some stories? <laughs> I could, yes, definitely. <laughs> Especially with Marv there, all the young boys. <laughs> <laughs> Marv what was Mecca's a... boots like, Marv? Were they always a mess? Or, did you, or, did you I, clean I, know, I know you never did his boots, no, but... I, I, didn't, I, didn't I don't think it did. Me. It wasn't you. It wasn't Marvin. Yeah. What, they, what they normally did was they put, like, the up-and-coming or all the apprentices with... So I was a defender, so I had Steve Fozzie's boots and um, Dibble's boots and probably a forward. Maybe a forward would have had your boots, Mecca, Um I don't know if it would have been. I've had about two. I've had about two or three different seasons. Okay. About two or three. Not good enough. Oh, they were good. Not good enough. No, they were good. They were good. Yeah. My my APs were good. My my APs were good. That that good, but you can't remember their names. (laughs) I can't remember their names. One of them is Sean. Sean did one of mine. Okay. And Ricky Ricky McAvoy, I think was another. Yeah, yeah really very good that. technical, very good technical player. Actually, some of, the, yeah. some of the young lads, um, Andrew, we had in those days. I can go back. I mean, Dibble, Harvey, James, Stacy North, yourself, Marvin, uh, Ricky McAvoy. Um, oh, what's his name on the right hand side? Um, that plays when when Ricky's injured. Normally plays. What's his name? He's escaped me. Oldfield. It was not. No, I was going to mention Oldfield. He was more more forward. I was. I was going in stages. Gary Parker um, on the right hand side. What's his name on the right hand side? Gary Parker. Parks. Gary Parker. Parker. Gary Parker. Parker. Uh, Parks. You know. So they were. We had a good young team. Had a good young yes. team. And I'm sure some of them may creep in here or not. So what we'll do is we'll get <laughs> going. Yeah. Um, yeah. And. Um, to start off with, we always like to hear your formation, which will be very intriguing after what you told us off air about having <laughs> nine strikers. So, over to you, Mecca. 
your formation and why? Can I say something first? I think that sometimes formation depends on the players you have available. Well, yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not cooking your team for you, Mech, so you can choose your No, 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 I'm saying it depends on the, on the, on the, person, the players you have available. There, there, are, there are players who are more adaptable. If, if, you, have, if you have a, a new manager, and if, if players are not adaptable, they won't play to that system. Yep. But if they are adaptable and intelligent, and intelligent and absorb what the, what the, what the new coach is saying, then, you know, the, the coach on the first step of getting to do what he wants them to do. Yep. So do you saying, think too so much is made of formation? Do you think My too formation? much is made of formation or not? I have, I have, yeah. I'm going to have a, I've played all the, I've, I've played 4 3 3, I've played 4 2 4, yeah. I played 4 2 4. And um, what I would, I would prefer, what I would prefer is that if you have the four, the back four, yep. Midfield, midfield three, yep. Two, Four, three, two. Or in the middle? In the middle. Four, three, two, one. one. The one of the twos, when we haven't got the ball, needs to drop back to make a four. Okay. Yeah? When, you don't have right. the, when we don't have the ball, you so drop that, in. So that's your formation. Four, three, two, one. Yeah? Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. So... We will jump straight in to goalkeepers then. When and obviously you can now, do honourable mentions as well. You can do honourable mentions. Sorry. I mean, you know that um, I've only played for one club, so it's more it's more difficult. This is going to last about ten minutes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Talk. I know you can talk. So it's going to last probably like at least a, 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 long, a lot longer than ten minutes. <laughs> Um, let me go, let me take the first go. I have about four keepers right, well, to give choose some from. Clues. Give us some clues before you name the actual one who's in your goal, though. Yeah. Clues. Well, you get it because there's only one team. You're going to get it straight away. Andrew's going to struggle. Why All right, but well, I'll give it to you anyway. Fan. A... I'll tell you what. He's played about 200... The first one is played about 207 games for Luton. All right. In total, it's played about four, five, 459 games in total as a pro. Anything? Anything jump out of, to you? No? Which, okay. clubs, okay. which clubs has he played for? Yeah, what no, clubs no. has he played for, mate? The only one I know is Luton, but I know he's played for several clubs. All okay. right. You get this now, Mark Marvin. Is um, he calls himself the cat, the best on cat keeper in the land? That's what he used to call himself. He's played for, he's played for about four. He's played for about fourteen teams, I think, over the years. Yeah. Over fourteen teams, he's moved around. Did he play the... for Coventry? Yes. He played for Coventry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was going to mess Andrew. <laughs> yes, he's made commentary. <laughs> Andrew's Why do you face think now. Such a random club. You've really just thrown me off, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to commentary. Yeah. Did he? Did he also play for Man United? I think he did. Yes. He did go to Man United. Yes, yeah, he did. Who? He did. I'm going to go. Did you say? Let's go on, mate. So I'm going to go and say Les Seely. Les Seely. Les Seely. You're correct. The best on cat keeper used to call himself the cat. Yes, that's what he did. He did call himself the cat. What was he like to shoot against for you? Obviously, being a striker, did he did he have a whinge at you if you scored past him in training, or was he all right? He's not all right. <laughs> he is not all right. He is crazy. Sorry, may so rest in peace. But he was yeah. crazy. <laughs> he was crazy. He would, he would tackle anyone except the experienced pros. The ones that who are not experienced, he will bash with verbal, verbal bashing. 
verbal bashing. And um, even in before the game, before the game, even when you're doing a practice, you know, knocking balls, balls to him, don't miss kick it. Let's go for your throw. So in that sense, he wanted to win. And you just look at it as if, as if he wanted to win. He's a winner, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. So did he, um, so you reckon he'd have gone after more you than, say, Mick Harford? Oh, yeah. He wouldn't dare do it to Mick. He wouldn't have done it, he wouldn't have done it to Mick. No way. He wouldn't have done it to Ricky. He wouldn't have done it to Brian. No, <laughs> he wouldn't. You. No, not just me. No, no. But a young all kid's well coming through. So all the youngsters coming through. He would do it to um, Mitchell. He would do it to Mitchell. He would do it to... Um, uh, what's his name? Rob. Rob Johnson. Rob Johnson. Duracell. Rob Johnson, by the way, is Chico. That's what he's, he's known by. Chico. Chico. That was his Chico. name. Yeah, that was his name. Um, Tim Breaker. Yeah. Yep. Any of the young, any of the young lads, yeah. So, uh, interesting. So, we have in goal, Les Seeley. That's one of them. Do you want to give he's, your... He's, 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 no, no, it's not my pick. Oh, it's not my pick. pick. No. <laughs> it's not my pick. I'm telling you, I told you I had about four keepers you go choose from. <laughs> oh, so, do you want me to give it to you straight away, the keeper? No, well, well, you can, you can like... Give some honourable mentions to say these people okay. were close. To okay, me. I'm giving honourable mention to I'm the, Les Seeley. Les right. Seeley, Jake Finley. Jake Finley, the best kicker of the ball I've ever seen. Okay. The best, actually the best, worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, wow. And the dibble. Okay. Hard working, hard working dibbles was hard working. More than the rest of them. But the keeper I'm going to pick played 65 games for Nigeria and scored one goal. He played in 1994 World Cup, but his best days were before that. I'm going to be able to be totally honest, Mecca. I know you won't, get you won't get it. No, his, name no is idea. Peter, his name is Peter Rufai. Oh, okay. Peter Rufai. He was like an elastic band. Right. When his goes go, he just goes and draws it. Goes and draws it. You know, he can get down left and right. Now, wonderful keeper he was in his younger days. And he scored one goal, he said. And that's what I heard. Yeah, they scored one goal. What, straight from a goal kick or penalty? Was I don't know where he scored, but he scored one goal. I know he scored wow. one goal. How many goals did you score for Nigeria? I didn't score any. I only played... I only played Four times, four, about four times, four or five times or so. Because I, I had injuries in between. I had right. two injuries in between. Right. And, and what was that? Would you, um, obviously playing for Nigeria, is that is that the country you always aim to play for? Um, obviously, apart from settling in England or um, um, nowadays, you know, players kind of have that awkward choice. Okay, let's put it this way. I've played, I've played from school days at all levels to international, get international at all levels. Whilst at Luton, Wales came in for me because I studied in Wales. I was in Wales, I lived in Wales for five years. And I think it was Pleated that called me in and said, this is what's in front of you. What do you want to do? They've asked me if you, can, if you want to play for Wales. And I said, no, I can't do it. I've, I've got to play for Nigeria. My dad would have gone spare. He would have said, he would have gone, did that burn you? If I ever played for another country, you would say, am I your father? No, I didn't want to take that chance at all. <laughs> so it was always <laughs> going to be Nigeria? Always going to be Nigeria. Was it, was it a proud moment for yourself and your dad then? Pardon me? It was, yeah. A proud moment for yourself and your dad then. What was your oh, yeah. the first game? And, and the My first game... Then? My first game was against Tunisia. I wasn't well before that. I wasn't well before that, but I can remember my friend, we'll, we'll come to him later, Luciano Marcello. Say, so listen, Mecca, anytime you get a, an opportunity to play and get on the pitch, you play. So I did, I did on that occasion. And it was, um, the, the stadium was full to the brim. 
It was about 100,000. They saved 100, 120,000 people. It was magic. It was magical. It was very nice. Yeah. Especially around then, playing with some of those Nigerian players, with some fantastic players. Um, yeah. In that era. A, a, a couple of them, yes. Yes. Like a group. Fantastic. So, moving across to your right back then. Let's go right back next. Right back. I have two, I, I have two people scheduled for it. The honorable match is between um, um, Tim Bricker and this boy called Omakaro, a Nigerian right back. Wonderful player. But um, with Tim Bricker, he had energy, hmm. energy in abundance. He can run all day. I, actually, I was one that named in Duracell. I think I was one that named in Duracell because he never stopped. I think he might have been. I think he might have been, Mac. You know, I think I named in Duracell. He kept going back, going back everywhere. And, um, and he, had, he, had brain, he had a brain on him as well. He had an, an understanding with Ricky on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. One in a very in a very good player, very good player, and a gentleman, I must say, team gentleman. Yeah, did you think he'd go on to play? Obviously, Luton, Luton, especially when you were playing, were a big club. Um, but do you think he then go on to play in the Premier League? Um, obviously for West Ham and QPR. He did. He did. He did play for West Ham. I think he went to West Ham. Absolutely, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Did you think he would do did you that? Think Andrew saying, yeah. did you think he would yes. have done that? Um, I think so. If, 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 he had, if he had the opportunity, if he had the opportunity, yes, he would. Because I can remember him saying to me, he can remember him saying to me, um, Mecca, listen, you're, be you're better off abroad. That's what he said to me, Tim. He said, you're better off abroad. And Tim was my roommate. Tim Brinker was in my room. Everywhere we went, he was my roommate. So... He knew me, I knew him. Right. Well, so what do you think he meant by that? Because of your, um, because your flamboyance Technical, or? No, because of the, um, the skill level. Flair. I think that was what it meant because he wasn't appreciated in Britain. The flair wasn't appreciated. If, if you look back over the years, people who have been discarded, they didn't even look at, yeah. you know? And those they did look at, they didn't play many games. You can name Hoddle, Alan Hudson, Tony Curry, you know? At, um, yeah. Is it Bowles? Is it Bowles? Stan Bowles, What's yeah. Yep. Stanley Bowles? Stanley Bowles? Bowles. Stan Bowles. Yeah, Stanley yeah. Bowles, yeah. So, Peter Barnes. Peter Barnes from Man City, wasn't he? Yeah. Our, mm -hmm. very, our very own Ricky Hill. Uh, oh, we'll, come, we'll get to Ricky Hill. Yeah, we? I know we'll get to him probably later on, but in terms <laughs> we'll of that, that player later. who is not appreciated in terms of that type no, of No, he, he was not. Right. Yeah. He was not. The, the person that appreciated him, that liked him, brought him into the England setup, I think. I think it was um, uh, Bob Robson, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Bob Robson. And Bob Robson liked Ricky. Right. He did like Ricky. But you're, but you're right back, Mech. Who's so? You're gonna give us some clues. Be right back. Is it, is it Chico? Is it Chico? No, it's not Chico. It's okay. not Chico. Um, he played in total probably 494 games altogether. And scored 13 goals. Mitchell. Mitchell was left back. I, I didn't know if you're doing square pegs around holes. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> I can't think of too many right backs in the era. Yeah, for you that played all together for four hundred ninety-four games. You, how many games did you play? Five, five hundred something. Oh no, no, no. Four, 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 four hundred, four hundred something. Sorry, four hundred something. Four hundred forty. Yeah, four hundred forty. Yeah. You played just as many games as you. You later went to West Ham. Tim, no, no, not Tim. It's not Tim, Tim, is it? Tim Breaker. Tim Breaker. Tim Breaker. Tim Breaker. 
I fucking said it wasn't him. I thought. I, I, no, I didn't know, say it wasn't him. I, I put it out honorable mentions. I thought. I thought he said no, 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 Tim Breaker. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I said honorable mention to the first person, the Nigerian boy. Oh, okay. The honorable mention to him. He was yes, Tim Breaker. Tim Breaker. The, the, Breaker is the man. Right. Now with you. So moving across to left back. Let's see how we go with guessing this one. Whoa. Again, honorable mention, there are two players. One of them played play 40, um, had 40 caps and scored one goal for, for his country. And um, the other one played about 293 games for, and scored six goals for Luton. But all together, played five, eight, seven games and 15 goals. I'm going to go back um, to my original guess, Mitchell. Yeah, go. It is Mitchell, Mitchell Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Mitchell Thomas. Mitchell was one of those players. He knew, he knew during that time that he was, he was good, he was brilliant. And he told you he, he's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told you. He was skillful. He had energy. He had good control. Wonderful player. And he had a good understanding, again, yeah. with another player that's on the left-hand side. Yeah. On the left-hand side, Mitchell Thomas. Well, you, you know Mitchell pretty well as well, Mark, because you two are best buds, son. Oh, are you pretty close yeah. still or not? I mean... We're close when Mitchell wants to be close, I suppose, as in... Yes. <laughs> anyone, who Mitchell, yes. anyone who knows Mitchell, and that's not meant in a, in a derogative way, but anyone who knows Mitchell, Mitchell's, like, lovely, like, life and soul of the party, but, like, it, it'll disappear. You mean you, you, you mean you won't hear from him for a while, but then it'd be He's like... He's like a 15-year-old with a new girlfriend. You don't hear from... They just disappear out of your friendship group for weeks. <laughs> and then he'll pick, the, he'll pick the phone up and not spoke to him for a year, and he'd be, mom, mom, mom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, it's just like he spoke to me yesterday, but like, no, yeah, I love Mitchell to bits. Yeah, Mitchell, Mitchell was another one that was sarky, funny. Yes. Yeah. You know, he was sarky, he was funny, and sometimes it can push it too far. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't care. He didn't care. No, he didn't. He, he didn't. Just, he didn't. He didn't. do his own thing. He didn't care. <laughs> Awesome. So we're moving on to centre backs then. Two centre backs in honorable, the middle. Honorable next. mention on that one was Yisha Shofolue on the left back. Oh, left back, sorry. Yep. Yisha Shofolue. Well, he's passed away now, but um, I think he had a brain, brain disease or something. Yisha was a left back. Tremendous player. Very fast. You know, covers well, can dribble. But um, Mitchell had an advantage. You know, defensively. Yeah. Right. Defensively, which has an advantage. Fantastic. So centre backs. Well, this is this is the This is difficult. Can, can I just say something first? There's one yeah, one player I've been there. I've put in there. I used to play with in the southeast counties. I am. Um, in, in the 70s, I think it was the middle 70s, we had, we had a police competition. And the most valuable player would go and train with Fulham. We'd go and train with Fulham. We knew that before the, we knew that before the tournament. But I later won the, the most valuable player in that tournament. You was? I, I did. I won, the, okay. I won the most valuable player. Right. So I was invited, that police competition, they go, I was going to go to Fulham to train. Yeah. To train with, do you know who was, who was there at the time? Um, Rodney Marsh? Rodney, Rodney Marsh, I think, was there, just, just about, yes. Yes, who else? George Bass? May have been there, but was the in England captain? Probably more. Bobby Moore was there. Alan Mullery was there. Alan Mullery was there. Peter Mello was in goal. Tremendous bunch of players. Oh, so they let you train players. with the full first team? 
I did. Yeah. I, could I have picked yeah. them? Could I have picked them in the team? No. 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 I was going to ask you. Didn't play, you didn't walk over the pitch. You didn't play a professional <laughs> yeah, game. Like I, I want to kidding. Game. I was going to kidding. I want to kidding. But that's a great story, though. So they, so yeah. I'm, because normally you, you enter those competitions and you think, oh, they're going to stick us out the back yeah. with a kid. But they actually let yeah. you train with the full first. That's a really great they story. Sent me to, they sent me to, um, I went to Fulham and I trained with them. Had, I've got photographs somewhere of the group, and of the group, the players who were there at the time. So how, I need how, to old was you, how old was you then, Nick, at the time was this? How old was you? <sighs> between 16? 16. Also? 16, 17 okay. or something. 17. And... Um, I went there, and guess who was there with me? At the, it was it was, a, it was um, Tony Gale. Oh. You know Tony Gale? Oh, yeah, yeah um, set the back for West Ham, wasn't he? Was he? West Ham. Yeah. He started. He, he started at Fulham. Oh, okay. He started at Fulham, and um, we travelled together to different places like um, Switzerland. You know. One stop that we had in Switzerland was that the food, the water was fizzy water. Right. Fizzy water, and then the food wasn't palatable to us. And then one day they decided to cook rice and some meat. And everybody was happy, you know, but it's left you on the table, left on the table, and then ready to eat. And somebody said, what meat is this? They said, rabbit. Do you know the English players, all of them took their hands off. Wouldn't eat it. What? Really? They I wouldn't mean, eat it. I wouldn't mean, if that was me, um, I wouldn't eat it either. I Listen to me. Listen to me. If you're hungry, you eat it. <laughs> you would eat it. <laughs> I don't know, listen. Myself, listen to me. Myself and a boy called Shaft. You right? A Shaft. Another black boy. We just sat oh, down. An he's an actor, isn't he? Is he meaning for the yeah, that, that was Shaft the actor, but this one was. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one was a split image of him. This one, this one was a split image of him. That's what they call him, Shaft. And then we just talked into the food, and it's it, the food. We didn't care. We didn't care. Yeah, and something yeah. else. And something else. I mean, you're talking. You're saying this. Let me just. Can I say something? If you were in a war, if you were in a war between Nigeria and Biafra war, which I was there as a young kid, mm -hmm. right? And people were starving. People were starving. People were suffering from kwashiorkor, you know, lack of protein, mm. you know. And if, if you see children's things popping out, their tummy is popping out, and, and large mm. liver, and then the bones are showing. Listen, you see food, you eat it. You will eat it. If you're hungry, you eat it. That was what happened in Nigeria. That was what happened in Nigeria, between Nigeria and Biafra War, which I was there. We came here after that in 1970 when it ended. My mom came back and collected us eight children back to here. Yeah, that two two million people died in that war. Two million, and this was about two and a half years. Two Lord. and a half years. Two two million people died, and three quarter of them were children. Wow! Apparently, three quarter of them were children. So what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say to you is that you see food, you appreciate it. And you eat it. Depends what food. All right, young man. One of me. Depends what food. We shall. We sh We digress. We digress. Yes. Um, we shall get back to centre backs. Two centre backs. Right. Mecca. Centre backs. I have. Um, do I, I'm not mentioning names, am I? Let me. Okay. Let me mention the names. Let me Steve say Foster. thank you. Steve Foster, let, me, <laughs> let, let me mention Steve some names. I've got four names here. I've got Steve Foster, um, Tony Gale, Mal Donerke, and Paul Elliott. Right? Let me say thank you first to Tony Gale. When we used to go to football games, his dad, who was a taxi driver, black cat driver, used to pick me up from everywhere to take me to the games. So appreciation to Tony and his and his father. Um, honorable mention to Tony, because I'm trying to keep, and then honorable mention to Paul Elliott, right? 
Paul plays about six, six times for Luton. Six, six, six games for Luton, I think. 60 or six? 66, about 66. Yeah. And about 303 games altogether. He was, he was, Paul was fantastic bef before he got injured. You know, can you remember, Marv, were you there? Yeah. Um, when Paul Lillard got injured. I wasn't, was it, was it Kenilworth Road? Yeah, Kenilworth Road, you could, you could hear the snap. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think, I mean, I might have been an apprentice by then, yeah. I mean, I, 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 and, I don't know if I'd joined the club then, I'm not sure. And, but, and Paul was fantastic. He was. That period leading up to that. Um, and then these, those are two, these two. These two are now. Oh, in, are these the ones you picking in your team? These no two? honorable mention. I said. Okay. Oh, okay. Honorable mention. The the team the um the other team player I'm mentioning played about one six three games. One six three games for Luton. This is honorable. This is, this is an honorable mention. No, this. This is a pick. This is a pick. This one is a pick. Okay. All right. 163 games for Luton. And 11, 11 goals for Luton. But altogether, he played 669 games and 42 goals. Steve Foster. What do you say, Andrew? I thought Foster would have played more than 160 games for Luton. He's not saying he's right. He's not saying I'm right, though. So I could be wrong. I'm going to go Mal right. Mal Donaghy. He's no, no. Steve Foster. Wow. Is that? Did he only play 160 games for Luton? 163 yeah. games. Yeah. Wow. For Luton. Games for Luton. I really honestly said he'd have played 250 because he was there for ages. And especially back then when you guys played a lot of games and there was no squad yeah. rotation. Yeah. Yeah. A centre back played... and the captain's never going to squad rotate. Yeah. No, true. True. What was he like <laughs> to play against in training, um, Mecca? Was he hard as nails or did he put you on the nah. floor? When you first, when you first turned nah. up, did he, did he pick you to make sure you realised who was in charge? Steve, Steve was just was stroll around. I'm the governor. I'm the governor. I'll probably do. I'll, I'll just turn around, pass the ball. He's, he, he, he didn't, it, it didn't matter to Steve. But on a Saturday, he's a different beast. He's a different, he's a different beast on a Saturday than in training. He's non Let me put it this way. He's non challenged Yeah. During the week. But on the, on the actual game day, the different based, different player, concentration yeah. level, he zones in, he just zones in. Um, his qualities, he can pass the ball, yeah. Leadership. Oh, what I'm saying. Qualities, leadership qualities, is second to none. That's where I think he went above one or two of his players, his leadership qualities. No, I'd agree. Yeah. I'd agree. I mean, you play with him as well, Marv. So yeah. um, I think anybody who's played with Fozzy has put him in the team. I'm pretty sure it's almost 100% hit rate. Yeah. It's not, that, it's not that the other players are not as good as him. No. No, it's the, it's the package. Yeah. It's the package. It's the package. Actual package. He yeah. was, you know, he, he, he was an organiser. He was, hey, talking. Hey, mm -hmm. you talking here. You know, you come back, sit in there, that sort of thing. Well, that, that's just Steve. Yeah. Um, so that's one. That's one of them. Next to Steve Oster. And um, Steve, something Shut happened out. with... No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. The next, <laughs> the next <laughs> I haven't said yet. <laughs> Mao, what can I say? Is this an honourable mention or is it? Is, is it honourable mention or is it Mal? I've not, I've not said anything. I said Steve Foster. The first okay. one was Steve Foster. All right, I mention all right. it. Are you listening, Mav? No, we're, yeah, yeah. We're, we've moved on, Mecca. We're on the, we're on the next. We're on the one. second centre back now. I know we're on the second one. I'm just right, getting on okay. the second one. Yes. 
Oh yeah, Andrew said Mao, and then you said it's not Mao. Oh it's no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. okay. I didn't say that. I'm sorry. This player, this player, played for Ireland ninety-one times. Uh, I'm giving it away. I'm already giving it away. <laughs> He's played altogether three ninety games, nineteen goals. Is that all he scored? Nineteen goals. Wow! Yeah, that, I really thought not... playing at United and Chelsea. I really thought he'd have scored yeah. more goals than that. No, he wasn't. He didn't no. score a lot of goals. No, no, it's not so a lot of goals. No. Did Did you guys? I mean, if it's the worst skip seat. It's Mal Donahue. But did you? Yeah. Did you um did you in training? I mean, both of you two were training, but um did you spend a lot of time with defenders trying to score, or is that something you're worried about? I know England right now in the World Cup three years ago were famous yeah. for only scoring set pieces. Do you guys do a lot of set pieces stuff under um uh, particularly under David Pleat, obviously the time when you were there, Mecca? We did, yes, we did. We did. Is it not surprising then as a fan to have such mm. low numbers for a centre back? To score from corners and free kicks. I mean, Mecca, it may be low, but how many centre backs score many goals? I mean, I know what Andrew's saying. I mean, the, but to, traditionally, the set pieces which David Pleat did wasn't the ones like a centre back would score, like a Wimbledon set piece would be like a, a flicker on the near post and someone coming in at the back post. That that was the thought yeah. like traditional goals for centre backs to score. Whereas the ones what David Pleat would do would be like clever little ones where yep. it's not saying that centre backs couldn't be in them, but normally it would be the, the strikers or the midfielders doing a little over and a little dummy and something quite clever to try and trick well, the team to get Pleaty. an opportunity. Yeah. Pleaty, when he wants to show off. <laughs> He's a good trainer. Don't get me wrong. It's enjoyable. His training sessions, when he, if some of the people are watching, boy, his training session, you, you will enjoy it. Probably one of the best. It, it gives you all the tricks, gives you, the, you know, you do different things and it's enjoyable. You know, everyone is happy. Some people they take training sessions and you're running all day. Yeah. Or you might go up to Old Bedford Road doing doggies Pops Meadow. up the hill. Pops Meadow. Pops Meadow, Pops Meadow yeah. Or Pops Meadows, you know? You know, but split is with the ball, normally with the ball. Everything he was doing is training sessions, not with, with the ball, which is enjoyable. Now, excellent. So you pick Mal Donaghy next to Steve. Any on any other honorable mentions at centre back, Mecca? Just the just um Mitch um Mav is a young lad. He was a young lad then. But he had qualities. Let me tell you, he had qualities. You could see it similar to, let's say, even Franz Beckenbach. He was one of, one of the coolest players on the ball. Never panicked. Yep. Never panicked. He could pass the ball. He could dribble. He could dribble. So I like that, Meg. I mean, Meg, I, I, I think I was, I was, I was not bad, but Franz Beckenbach. No, no, no. I, I'm talking about in terms of being the calm. Style. Oh, yeah, okay. style. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, style. You're calm. How many how many players do you see that are calm? They want to get rid of the ball. Yeah, you're true. It's like, is it? Yeah, I, I say that sometimes to the girls. It's not a. It hasn't got a detonator inside the ball. It's not. No. Up, you know. You know it's so, not. <laughs> stay stay calm. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah. yeah keep, keep it. it. I, I tell you what. Keep it. Look after it like a good woman. I hope I'm not saying the wrong thing there. You know? We'll stop it there. We'll stop. The, we'll stop the analogy there. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So your your honourable mention is also Marv. Marv as well. Yes, Marv. Fantastic. Marv. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pause it there, um, take a quick break, and hear from our sponsors. Then when we come back, we'll hear from uh, the rest of Mecca's My Best Eleven. Thank you for listening to My Best Eleven Pod. We are currently accepting applications for advertisement and sponsorships. You can reach us at mybestlivingpod or mybestlivingpod at gmail.com. Thank you. Great. So we're back for part two of um, Mecca's My Best 11. So far, we've got Peter Rafai, Tim Breaker, Mitchell Thomas, 
Dee Foster and Mal Donaghy. We're now um, moving on to his three midfield. Um, Emeka's then got two playing behind a single striker. So anywhere across the three, wherever you wish to start, Mecca. Well, these ones you're not going to get. You're going to get two of them. You're not, I'm not sure you're going to get two of them. One of them okay. you may. All right. This one, I, stud, I studied with him. He, he, with played him. For, he played for Welsh, you know. He played for Welsh universities, played for British universities. Solid, he, like a rock, you know. He, play, he was solid. Did he, did he play professionally as well, Mecca? No, he did not. Okay. I'm sticking him in. Okay, yeah, it's your team. I'm sticking yeah. him in. Okay. He's a pharmacist. He was a year above me. And um, his name is oh, from whoa, North Wales. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. This, is, this is an honourable mention or this is the player? This is a player. Okay. Can, can we not have a guess? <laughs> I don't you're not going to get it. <laughs> Oh, no, hold on, hold on, Mecca. Hold on. He's been winding you up all day. No, don't on, mind Marv. him. Go on, Marv. Have a guess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say. Peter. <laughs> Am I close? Is it right? <laughs> no? Is he laughing? Am I right? Yeah, keep 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 taking the mic. And you know I said Peter. I've just gone for Peter. I said Peter. It's not taking the mic. Peter, yeah, Peter who? Well, I'm close then. That was the second name. <laughs> <laughs> second name. First or second name? First name. That was Peter. No, wrong. No. So who is it, Becca? Who's the midfielder? His name. His name is Wim Perry Jones. Wayne Perry's Jones. Win Perry's Jones. He was a Wayne. terrific player. Oh, Wayne. Wayne Perry's Jones. Win Win Perry Jones. Win. Where did you Wayne. um? Oh, okay. Win. Uh, yeah, where no. did you play? Which so yeah, just tell us a bit about um. Obviously, you play with him at uni, uh, which is something you did after you left Luton. Just tell us a little bit about kind of your story after you left Luton. And how he ended up playing with his player as well. Okay, let me start with the player first. Mm -hmm. um, the player first. We at uni, we had a departmental team, we had a university team, we had a Welsh university team, and we had a British university team. And we played in all. We played for all four games, and he was a member of that team. He was a terrific player. He was strong. He was skillful. He could have made it if he wanted to go into, into football. He would have made it. Yeah, Win Perry Jones. Oh, Take my hat off be, to him. This is before you came to Luton then. Pardon? This is before you came to Luton. Yeah, this was before. Well, yeah, before I went. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Yeah. I thought it was yeah, after. Thought, yeah. Okay. No, it was before I went to Luton. Okay. Yep. Before I came to Luton, yeah. Right. Win Perry Jones was a terrific player. Stylish, strong. You know, had energy, bags of it. Yeah, Wim Perry Jones, Welsh from North Wales, okay. Bangerside, yeah. I think. Bangerside, yep. you think, up that way. So when up you, um, so you were, you went to university before you um, obviously signed pro contract then yourself. That's right. Because um, during school days, during school days, um, clubs used to come. To see if I can come and train with the with the clubs, and my dad got to know about it. He came to the school and told the, the headmaster, whoever it was then, Mr. Payne or something. He said, "Listen, any any football team that comes for him, just refuse them. That he's not going to play." And that's it. My my dad didn't mind me playing for the school or district, anything associated with this with schools. Or uh, England schools. I played for England school under 18. He didn't mind that because he schools. But anything to do with clubs, football clubs, no way. He wouldn't have it. He wouldn't wow. have it. So, um, uh, even at that time, there was under 16 as well trials. I didn't. I didn't attend. 
Because in those days, in those days, people used to say, oh, they only want big players. You know, they don't want skillful players. You know? Right. That's, it's a fact. It's a fact. And, um, but I wouldn't let that deter me. But I couldn't go to the under 16. But I did, I did go to the under 18. I said, no, why, should I, why shouldn't I go? I'm going to go and pick myself against, that, against the other, you know, everybody in, 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 in England and see how far I'm going to go. And I got, I got in. I got England school boys. Really? Yeah, I got in. England school boys. Mecca, Wonderful. Wow. Mecca, so there was there no, like, clubs that wanted you to go on trial um, to train and practice with them? My Fresh dad wouldn't... Let, my dad would not, wouldn't allow it. Yeah. Okay, so you, you never, you, so you don't know if that ever could have happened. Yeah, I, I knew it could have happened because right. there are clubs who came and the school would refuse them. The school, the the school would refuse them. Said no. His, his father said no, that nobody should um, to take him to any football club. Wow. To play, it was, you know, it to was train. It was education. Well, the, the education first, right? Yeah. Education so, education so then you, so then you went on to university and study pharmaceutical pharmaceutical science. Is that right? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Yep. So, pharmacy. Yeah. So you studied pharmacy and you went through the whole of university. Yeah. Um, and then what happened? Obviously, because then you ended up going uh, playing for Luton. So, okay. what happened? What happened? Once I was at. Uni, I was doing my registration, I think, my registration. First thing that happened was, what's his name calls me from America, Rodney Marsh. I can remember it. Rodney Marsh wanted me to come and play in America and continue my studies, but I only, only have one, one year left to finish my well, thing. Where, so, uh, Where would he have seen you then, Mac? Where would he have seen you? Because he had contacts in Britain. Okay. He had contacts in Britain and said, Come over to America, finish your studies in America, and play for I think, I think it was not Carolina or something. I can't remember what, what it was. And I said no, I can't do it. But if I if I did, my dad would have killed me. So I didn't. I didn't old, think about old, it. And how old? Sorry, Mac. How old was you then? This was around 22, 23, I think. Really? Jeez. I think so. Yeah. And I said I said no. I need to finish my studies the following year. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Like your dad, your dad said no, not you. My dad, dad said, said no. No, no. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't even tell my dad. No, I didn't tell my dad because he, I knew well, he, he would. Say, he would not, oh. No, he would have said no. Finish your studies. Finish your tra your training, which I did. I mean, I'm I'm, all, I'm almost there. So why should I interrupt it to go to America and start again? Yeah, four years. It wasn't worth it. Yeah. So when I when I finished my studies. I was doing my training. I wanted to play on a Saturday, but the girls wouldn't allow me. I said, okay, you work during the winter. No, 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 because we, we, work, we work Saturdays in the pharmacy. So I want to have Saturdays off to right. play, you know, something professional. They right. said, no. I said, okay, you do, you do it in winter, work in winter, I work the summer holiday. They still said, no. It got to a stage, I worked work for the company somewhere else, asked the area manager if he could let me have some days off. He said no. I, I decided to come back to London. I came back to London and I met my friend, Luciano Marcello, a former um, Charlton player and he played in Italy. And um, my dad then came from Nigeria, came from Nigeria that period. And he looked at me in the eye and said, what have I been telling you? You finish playing, finish playing. If you want to go and play on the moon, you can go. Go and play on the moon. So I said, okay. I spoke to my friend. We sat down together and he said, so Michael, what are you going to do now? Who are you going to play for? I said, I don't know. I want to just play semi-pro at the moment and work at the same time. And he called um, Dolich Hamlet. He called Dolich Hamlet. And... Um, the person I picked up, he said to him, can I speak to so-and-so at your person? He said, and the person said, he's training. 
Luciano persisted and said, listen, I have a player for him. Go and tell him that I have a player for him. Tell him to come back to and answer the phone. After the third, the third occasion, he agreed. He went to, he went to the, um, the training session, told the manager, the manager then came, answered the phone. And Luciano said to him, I have a player for you. He said, why Joby? He said, why Joby? You mean, which one? He said, which, is, which one? N not the Nigel. He said, no, 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 the one that was at uni. He said, that one. What are you now? He said, come down to the club now. So we did. We went down to the club and um, we had a chat and he said, um, can you play on Saturday? I said, no, I'm not going to play on Saturday because I'm not fit. I've not trained. He said, no, you can do it. Just play. It doesn't matter. I said, no. But we went to, we went to watch a game. After the game, on a Tuesday, they played the game at Barking, I think. And they were asking me to play, and I said no. But on the way to Barking, Luciano convinced me to play that evening. They had, they already um, given the jerseys to everybody, the shirts to every player. Once it, once uh, Luciano packed the car, he was he didn't even turn off the engine. He ran into the changing room and said to you play, you play, make her play, make her play, and that was it. I came in, he took the shirt off someone else and gave it to me. He did, he did, and give to me. And did you and not feel bad for, about that player? I you did. Player? I did feel bad, but he gave me the shirt. Mm. And I played out of my skin. Different people were watching Tottenham, West Ham, Luton. I didn't know this. They were watching someone else. They were watching someone else. And that was it. I think it was Jomo that, watched, that saw that first game. Jomo, I yeah. think. And I later found out. And then on a Saturday, somebody else came to watch me somewhere else. The same thing. And then Pliti came himself on the, the following Tuesday. And then organized with Luciano that to meet at the back at, at the back of the goal. He didn't want to go on the stand so that nobody would see him. So when whilst he was there, he was talking to Lou, asking him questions. He said, he said to Lou. Boy, he looks a bit chubby. Look at his stomach. It's a bit big. And Luciano said to him, have you seen his belly button? Have you seen his belly button? He's as big as anything else. He's bound to be big. You, you know, Marv, you know my belly button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and that was it. That's why I came to Luton. Wow. So literally, he already played like three games for Dulwich and that was it. That was it. That was it. Three games. Wow. About that. Three games. And Lou told um, Mr. Pleat, that's why I used to call him Mr. Pleat. <laughs> he said, listen, he's going to play for you within the next four weeks. And there you are. And it did happen. Within yeah. four weeks, I played for Luton against Nottingham Forest. And by the way, it was Brian Clough. Brian Clough, Nottingham Forest. Brian Clough sent somebody when I was at uni to watch me play against Bangor, one of the top teams. Well, I didn't hear anything else. And then when I came into professional football, here, here we are. He was the first person, his team I played against. And then after the game, I scored one. I scored one. After the game, he came up to me and said, well played, young man. Well played, young man. That's how, that, that's how he talks. Well played, young man. And that was it. <laughs> Did he remember you? Uh, he didn't come himself. He sent somebody. Oh, man, did he you remember somebody. that he, he was kind of? Because sometimes I've heard stories. Yes. Like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say anything to him. Yeah. I didn't say anything to him. So. Fantastic. Let's keep him that's a, that's a great story. That there really is, and it's inspirational as well to a lot of people that there are. We've had so many people on that have gone through school. Excuse me. They've gone through schoolboys. So yeah. many people that have gone through clubs. And yeah. I think you're a great credit to show that if you want to, if you stick with it. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd like to say something. Education, work, they don't have to be exclusive. Exactly, exactly. I'd, not, I'd like to say something towards the, towards the end. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, what you've done about yeah. youngster, if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, I can definitely. remember, I can remember at Luton, they asked me to go to, for a presentation with an experienced professional when I first arrived. And I thought, oh, well, well, we're going together. I jumped into his car. We went there, got there. And then after a while, they do a talk. I thought, what? Nobody told me I was going to do a talk. I was gossmacked. I was fidgeting. I was stammering. I was stammering. And then the experienced professional took the mic from me. And he was like, he had, he had verbal diarrhea. He came to, he come, and I thought to myself, never again. Never again is this going to happen to me. Never again. And then another occasion ar arose. I was um, asked to go and do a presentation. And this time I was by myself. And apparently I was brilliant. They said I was brilliant. I don't know why, but they told me I was brilliant because of the things I said to the youngsters. All right. So they re related it back to the club, the chairman, and probably, possibly they played. And they told me after that. So subsequently, they used to ask me to go, you know, go, go for a presentation. Do some of these motivational talks and, and community yeah. work. Oh, great. Yeah. So right. you got Wynn Paris Jones on in your first central midfield. Let's keep going on to the other central midfielders. Well, this player, you, I don't think you know him. I don't know, you wouldn't know him. No. His name is Mudalawa. No. A Nigerian, no. a Nigerian player. Okay. A Nigerian player. But it's, it's his games and scored 12 goals for Nigeria. Skillful. When what was he? Was, he, he a, was he a box to box? Nowadays, would you say he's a box to box player? Was he a? He was like. Let me tell you. Let me tell you uh, somebody who he, he's similar to. There's another another boy here. That's um, Gary Butler. Was quite you know. But Muda is more skillful. More skillful than um, Gary Butler. He re sometimes he reminds you of um, a more, even more skillful than um, Oziadiles. Okay. Most more skillful than Oziadiles. He was skillful, touches, you know, dummies. Ah, he was a wonderful player. Wonderful player, Mudelawa. Effective. Wow. Attacking midfield, I would, I would say. But he can distribute. He can pass short. In Nigeria, in those days, they don't hit anything long. It's always short, short passes. Tap, tap football. You know, you can't get the ball off them. You and where did he play? Did he play just in Nigeria? or did he Just in Nigeria. Just in Nigeria. In those days, it was mostly Nigeria. Yep. Now, most people are outside, <laughs> outside Nigeria, you find. Yeah. And um, the standard then drops. The standard then drops in Nigeria. Yeah. And then similar thing that was going to happen here last week in, in Britain to do with the breakaway football club. Oh, Super League. Yeah. Oh, right. Super League. If they had gone, if they had, if the, if, if, if they had been allowed to get away with it, the standard in the Premiership would drop. Yep. yep. The standard would drop. So a similar thing happened, you know, happened in Nigeria. Similar thing happened in Nigeria. So Mudala. Who's so, next to who's next to him? This might be the one you reckon we could get. Yeah. Yeah, this one you could you you should you should be able to get this one. Gary Butler, I've mentioned. I've mentioned, but um it's, I said it, Gary Butler. I played with him in England schoolboys. Under, under 18. Gary Butler. Gary Butler. Gary Butler. You see, what you find in those days, some of these players are middle class. Some right. of these players are middle class. Their parents will not allow them to go to venture into in professional football. Are you with me? They said there's nothing there. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's too risky or... It's too leave. risky. It's you leave you when don't have you're any... 33, 34, and you got what you can do for next. What do you do? Exactly, exactly. It's similar to what my dad was was telling me. Pharmacy is your insurance policy. Yeah, that's how that's how you put it. Pharmacy is your insurance policy. One hell of an insurance policy. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing insurance policy. Yeah. Oh, so my dad was a clever man, you know. Very clever man. I listened to, I got on with my dad. He, I got on with my dad. I listened to my dad. So, what I'm saying to, and something else, let me say something here. I hope that youngsters are listening. 
right? Um, there's a saying that what an elderly man, an experienced man or woman, right? Experienced man or woman sees standing up or sitting down. A young person, an inexperienced person will not see standing on the highest mountain. Are you with me? Yeah. You see, so what I'm saying is that you should be, you should listen, learn, listen, absorb, and apply. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree with you, Mecca. Yeah. yeah. Totally agree with you. So you said it's not it's not uh, Butler. Who is it then? Is Ricky Moodle Hill. around? Ricky Hill. No, no. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Don't rush. You're rushing too well. This player has played about 336 games for Luton and scored 21 goals. Any idea? David Priest. Marvin? Priestie. 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 Wonderful Priestie. Priestie has. There's three players, three players that had that had wonderful left foot in the business. And Priest is one of them. The other one is Sheedy. Everton? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Liam Brady is the other, is the other one. Arsenal. Now, Priestie, I don't know how to explain him. He just knows what he's doing before even the ball comes to him. He knows where you are. He can pick you out. He can pick you out. He had, he had low center of gravity. Low center of gravity for even, a, I mean, I, I know he's short, that's what it's called meaning, but right. he had low center of gravity, great touch, great passing ability. He can find you anyway, just move and Chris will find you. Yeah, um, yeah wonderful player, wonderful player. You, we used to, um, when we played, Pleta used to tell me to, because I, was, I had a good spring. Ricky had a good spring. I had a good spring. And they put me on a near post. And Prissy would always put it exactly where you want, you know, and for me to flick on. Oh, hmm. Pleta was a wonderful player. Wonderful player. May so rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Rest in peace, rest in peace indeed. Um, yeah. Moving on to the attacking midfielders or forwards, however you want to call them. So the two playing behind the striker. Right. The two playing behind the striker. And well, okay, let me start with this one. He played five, six, five, sixty-four games. For Luton, 184 goals. I think it came from non-league. Brian, Dean, Andrew. I was gonna go Ricky Hill, but yeah, right. Who'd you say? Ricky Hill. No, Brian Steen. Ricky Brian Steen. Be next to him. If he's going to be the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a wrong order. He doesn't he don't know whether Ricky's going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Steen. Brian Steen is technically... <laughs> Brian, Steen, Brian Steen is technically wonderful. Good feet. He can strike the ball cleanly. He can strike the ball cleanly. He has good movement. Very and good he's, he's running, he's deceptive. In the sense that <laughs> I knew he could run the day we had um, um, Millwall. It was Millwall that came to us when they wrecked the whole place. Yes. They, it yeah. was Millwall. One night in the car. I think it was in the car. They, they threw the seats. They, they threw the seats. Yeah. Yeah, Millwall, yes. 85, yeah. 85, yeah. yeah. I was on that side of the page. All of a sudden, I saw Brian running. Towards the tunnel. He was the first, probably the first one. I thought, I didn't realize Brian was that fast. He just <laughs> legged it. 
<laughs> Brian, Brian just took off. And then all of a sudden, I was going to see just his number on his back and then the tunnel. I think, yeah, thanks a lot. I don't have to move. I have to shoot myself quickly. Um, yeah, Brian, very good player. Very good take finisher. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful player. And, and he, a great he, man he, as well. And got into coaching. So he's got a lot to yeah. pass on to the youngsters as well, by the looks of it. Can you repeat that, please? He's, he he went into coaching, so that's right. He's clearly that's got right. A lot to pass on to the youngsters as well. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Did Brian. he take you under his wing slightly when you joined, or was it a battle for places? Um, <clears throat> we're all friends, but what you find in professional football is like your death, my life. Do you understand? Can you understand that? Your death, my life. Everybody would do anything to get in the team. Yep. Dog eat dog. All those yeah. Dog, eat, yeah. dog eat dog. Dog eat yep. dog. Dog eat dog. I mean, there was a time a player, in, to my hearing, said, oh, so I wish that this person would break their leg so that they can play. I, that's, I can't stomach wow. that. Where was that no, said? I I, it was said, uh, to my hearing. At Luton? At Luton. To you, yeah. To my, I was he was sitting there, and I was sitting here. What he said about you, Mecca? No, not to me. Oh. He said about people who are playing on the pitch. Oh, he won't say it to me. Well. But that, that was the wrong. That was the wrong thing to say, though. <laughs> you should say no, something. I mean, I mean, pull pull up or get a sniffle, or get a cold, but break your leg. <laughs> That's career ending no, in some cases. That's incredible. A professional would do that. Or, or oh yeah, that. The, yeah, that's right. That's right. I mean, you're, I mean, you're, you're saying that before the um, little woods, little wood um, cup final. Yeah. For the cup final, I was injured. Priestley was injured. Ricky Hill was injured. Yeah. And we were striving to to get fit back to. You know, before the cup final, we had this training session. I don't, this boy kept kicking me. I said, Come on, calm down. There's nothing to it. Just calm down. He wasn't having it. He kept coming into me hard. I said, Can you have a word with him? He said, To calm down. He kept doing it. He got to a stage and I said, you're not going to play in this cup final. If that's what you're doing, you're not going to play in the cup final. If you don't want me to play in the cup final, you're not going to play in the cup final. And he didn't. And he didn't. What's his name? Marvin Johnson. Is this, is it, were, you, <laughs> <laughs> were you this no, young lad who? <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't was, a young lad. That was nicely set up. It had to be said, Marv. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, was, I'm not, the reason I'm laughing is because the way Mecca's explaining it, I can imagine exactly that is exactly how it was how it went. In the conversation he would be saying he'll be saying it exactly to the player in question, whoever he is. And the coaches. I said to the coaches as well, could you tell him to you know to stop it? Right. We're halfward. I told him stop him from kicking me. Right. Because he wanted to play in that cup final. And he wanted to do anything he just wanted to, to show that he was ready or whatever, I suppose. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. And I said, I said, no, if, if you don't want me to play in that cup final, you're not going to play in that cup final. And that was it. He didn't play. I was waiting for you that, that story. You turned around and punched him in the face. He was yeah. like a broken nose. No, That's what I no, thought no. he was going to finish with. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't play. He got injured. He was the one that got injured. Anything to do with you, Mecca? No, nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, brought, he brought it up to himself. He brought it up to himself. <laughs> Karma. Yes. Oh, dear, you're, you're winding me up now. <laughs> um, so, other, next to Brian, who's your other central midfielder? Ricky Hill. No, I didn't pick him. Is, is, is this the first? Huh? Is this the first? Not Ricky not been picked. Yep, this is the first. Ricky's never no, been picked. No, it can't be. I don't know. Somebody has been picked. 
You're the only one who's, who's played with Ricky Hill and not put him in his team. Listen, this is get about five. I'm not the only one. Somebody doesn't pick Ricky. No, no, no one. Listen, no one would do that. That's just like message. I'm just messaging him right yeah. now. <laughs> that's like someone, yeah. that's like someone, at, someone at Arsenal playing with Henri and Burkamp and not putting them in the, in their team. I know, I know, I know. Right, this player. Good player. Yeah. Great control. A gentleman. He's calm. He's calm. Never panics. Never loses the ball. Or hardly loses the ball. What? He hardly loses the ball. Okay. Misplaced the ball. Passes. Hardly. Unless he must have a twin then, Ricky. This sounds like Ricky to me. Andrew? <laughs> David Moss. Nah. Ricky Hill. Ricky, Ricky, oh, Ricky, yeah, Ricky Hill. Ricky Hill. I knew Ricky he was going to the dummy. I knew he was going to the dummy. <laughs> I, I knew it. He is Ricky Hill. What an ex extraordinary player. Extraordinary player. And he, scores, he can score goals. Yes. But because of the position where he plays, he doesn't tend to get into those areas. Yeah. And when it, once you lose the ball, Ricky is heading back to his position. Unfailingly, he runs back to his position. You know, he can play. He can play. You could have played that position blindfolded. He knew. He knew the place inside out. Mind you, he used to come in, inside. Some you know, invariably, when we when we do have the ball. Yeah, great control. There's one thing with Ricky. He thought he was Carl Lewis. In those days. And I used to call him Jerry, more like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> was um, he not that quick? No, no, no. I'm not saying he's not quick, but he thought it was Carl Lewis. All right. I wasn't sure if you're about jumping, the jumping side as well. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> no. Rick had a good spring. He had a good yeah. spring as well. And yeah. um, I used to call him Jerry because of that issue. Because he used to think he was Carl Lewis. I used to call him Jerry Lewis. So I used to call him Jerry when I was. <laughs> Was a, what was a touch of nerve? Hello, Jerry. Yeah, Ricky. He played the first outing, four three six games, 54 goals. Wow. The second outing is 20. Um, yeah, four three six goals. It was Le Havre and Leicester he didn't play for. Le Havre. Yeah. yeah. And, what's, and what's his name? Used to love him. The ex, ex Liverpool manager. The French, the French chap. Oh, Gerard Hulier? Gerard Hulier. Loved Ricky in those days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a great man. And like Marvin, I joked about, but we're serious. Yeah. Mm. He's been in everybody's team. Everybody who has played with Ricky has put yeah. him in the team. And I think all the things you said, man, person, footballer, that characteristic <laughs> is, is what it's all about. <laughs> Ricky. Let me think of everybody in that team. When you meet him, he's a chant. The way he speaks to you, the, the way he acknowledges you, not, in, not insulting. Oh, Rick is, he has a personality about him with anybody, whether you're an old man, an old woman, a young lady, a young boy, a young girl. Rick was just magical. Mm. I think Marvin was a picture of him, Ricky. Put some of these things I'm saying <laughs> is about being calm and how he speaks to people. Very friendly. Rick is generous. Yeah. Friendly. Generous like our Marv as well. Oh, wonderful. Mecca, just a little wonderful. quick question for you. I mean, you're probably going to touch on it a little bit later on. You, you finished your career quite early after an injury. Uh, but like, what yeah. I want to touch on is that... Did you ever think about, I know you was already qualified as a pharmacist, did you ever think about coming back into the game as a coach or in any way? I did. Because, funnily, my dad, who didn't want me to play football initially, when I got injured, when I came back 
from my from um, Gloucester, Gloucestershire, where I was working. He came from Nigeria. The first thing he said to me, my dad looked me in the eye. I said, what have I been telling you? My dad just looked me in the eye and said, what have I been telling you? This is your insurance policy. Um, he said, make sure, make sure that you take your coaching badge. Of all the people to tell me to take my coaching badge. I thought you were saying, you were, you were told me to go and go back into pharmacy. He said, make sure you take your coaching badge. But at, a, at that time, it was either sink or swim. It was sink or swim. So I decided to go into pharmacy. I decided to go into pharmacy. And um, what happened was like, when after work, you get so tired. Right. You get so tired trying to motivate yourself. But it kept, I think Ricky did it. And my friend, Luciano Marcielo, Luciano Marcielo, Marcielo my mentor, right. he did his on a Sunday. But even then, the tiredness kept into it. By the time I go there, finish, you know, finish whatever I'm doing, and then get back to work on Monday, why well, it's too strenuous, I think. But I do one thing. It's one of those things that re, I do regret, though, that I didn't do. Just one yeah. of those things. And then, I don't like saying that I regret something, but um, yeah. that was just one of one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, and moving on to the last place in your team, in your starting lineup, centre forward. Well, this is, this is a difficult one. It was between, there were somebody I played with, George Avunu, at schoolboy school level, Ken schools, but Honorable mention. This is an honorable mention, George Avunu. Um, there are two others. He had McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He had McCaffrey. And he had a boy, another boy, a Nigerian boy called Yakini, Rashidi Yakini. Um, Mick, yeah, he scored goals for Luton. Technically, he was good. He was a big man. He had good control for a big man. He had good control. Um, the other player, the other player, again, another big man. Good touch, great touch. He can strike the ball. He can strike the ball from anywhere. If you ask him to strike the ball from his own goal line, again, he would do it. He would do it. He was powerful. He had strength. And he had pace. And he had pace. What differentiated both of them was that Mick wasn't as, fa as fast. Mick, Mick wasn't as fast, but he had the, he had the brains, mm -hmm. the, fo you know, the football knowledge. But this it's boy, it's not Mick. It's not Mick. Then it's not Mick. No. Okay. I've gotten done as honorable mention. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the boy I'm talking about. For Nigeria, he places two games and scores 37 goals. Um, one in two. Omokachi. Omokachi, no. No. He played in 1994 World Cup. Name again. What's it? How many? Uh, Kanu? No. Center forward. Center forward. Yeah, Kanu was a striker. Yeah, no. Yeah, but he, he wasn't. He was roaming around. He's the type of player I play behind the centre forward. If you see what I mean, um, Indiniki, Peter who? Indiniki, Peter. No, 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 not Peter. No, not Peter. Um, no, no. Finidi George. No, Finidi George in the wide. Wing. Yeah, Finidi George in the wing. Trying to think. Um, Finidi George. Think back to that '94 Nigerian team. Think of the person that scored the goal. 
against is it Bulgaria? Yeah, I, I and then he, and he, he was he was holding the net. Remember, he was holding the net. Yeah, Roger Miller. That's Roger that's, Miller's Cameroon. That's Cameroon. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, you were near you're in the right track with Amakachi, I think. Yeah. I yeah, was. they were. Yeah. The you're on the right one, track. They played together. Is the other was the other one that I mentioned? He oh, was big boy, big boy, yeah. powerful. Um, Andrew, the one who played with it was he played abroad somewhere, um, somewhere like in Belgium or somewhere like that. I think Mark Pembridge might have had him in his. Someone had him in his team in their team. Someone else had him in their team. Somebody else. Yes, the one you're I'm thinking of. Yes. Did he play? Did he play in Europe somewhere as well, Mecca? I think he did one or two places. Yes, this is what I'm, I'm telling you now. Someone else had him in their team. No. My book's in the other room. I can't. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. My mouth is joking. No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Yeah, the you one, sure? The one, listen, this player, right? They said, mm. they spoke about him, said all he did was goal, goal. Even his penalties. He went up to his. No, it's not. He's unbelievable. Way. He can shoot from any oh, angle. Oh, you mean the yak? Yakubu. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 not Yakubu. Not oh, Yakubu. Okay. Not Yakubu. Not Yakubu. That's who you're talking about, Marv. That's it? who I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's, not, it's not Yakubu. No. Okay. Not Yakubu. I'm, I'm, I'm think, not of the up, think of the World Cup 94. And um, he, he's got the goal and then he held the net. You know? I can see his face. I'll, I'll have a li- all our listeners now screaming the name out and everything. No, I don't know. I, I'm not. Go on. Who is it? Who is it, Mega? Yakini. Rashidi Yakini. You know, the commentators used his name Yakini. Mm. He was he was a beast. Yeah. He was a beast. And he, I remember, I remember um, when we were in camp during my days, and we went to play a game. And the coach, coach was had been taken ill, and they asked me to take the take the team. And I decided that we we're going to play, play a pressurization game, which is similar to closing down now, mm-hmm. just a different word. Yeah, yeah. You played it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those days yeah, yeah. when they tried to play it, and. Um, I said the I said the boys up, you know, you know what what was going to happen. We got into the game. If one person doesn't do it, it falls apart. Yeah, it fell apart. It falls apart, or fell apart. And Yakub, uh, um, not Yakubu, uh, Yakini didn't want to do it. He's lazy. He was he was lazy. Not because he couldn't, he couldn't do it, because he knew I'm the goal scorer. Which I don't doubt, right? And um, he started doing it. I said, if you don't do it, you're off. But he started doing it. And he did it well. He did it well. So Yakini was a, a beast of a player, strong, like a, he's like a bull. And he can shoot accuracy with, with accuracy from anywhere. So Yakini goes in there. Awesome. Fabulous. We got you, Kenny, playing in front of Brian Steen and Ricky Hill. So, mm. the last to make up your starting 11, that's your starting 11. That is. Um, Are you sure about this? <laughs> that is, that's your start. That's 11 players. I've made up 11 players on my numbers. Yeah. 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 That's right. Now, manager. Who is your manager? Who's the best yeah. manager? And this can be going as far back as you like. We've yeah. had people pick youth team all the way through to professional. Jesus. So who can lead this team, Mech? Who could lead that team you've just picked? Who could be the one to have the control? I've, I've thought about it. I've played against wonderful managers. Wonderful. It's only one. I didn't take two. Only one. The rest of them, I've had. They, they give me freedom. 
when I'm playing, they gave me freedom. They knew how skillful I was, how talented, how fast I was. They didn't restrict me. A lot of them. So trying to pick one out, <laughs> I don't want to offend the rest of them. There have been, been so many. Like I said to you, Leonard Lawrence was, you know, I yeah. told you I played under Leonard Lawrence. He was fantastic. He was fabulous. Um, David played because David Play was the one that brought me to Luton. That signed me for Luton. Right? Yeah. Into professional football. If he, in a way, I think if he had his ways, he would, he would, I would have been allowed to express myself more. I know David Please is that type of person. He likes good, you know, great football, talented yeah. footballers, mm. talented footballers. But um, what you, let me say, one thing that is lacking in British football in those days, I don't know about now, is man management. They don't have any man management skills at all. There are some players you can shout at and you get a reaction. There are some players you shout at, you won't get anything out of them. Yeah. There are some players you can put your arm around, you get, they'll play for you. British managers don't have it. Only one, only probably one or two, right? Majority don't have it. I'm sorry to say, they don't have it. Man management skills. You don't treat people, shout at people. There are some people who are, who are not, they're not thick skinned. Yeah. They're not, th they're not thick skinned. Once you do something to them, you, you send them down. And so send them up, you know, confidence. You do demoralize them. Yep. So I, I, have to, I have to pick two. I have to pick two. Ooh, I have to pick a mentor. Okay. Okay. I have to pick a mentor, and yeah, Lu yeah, Lu go on, go on, Mecca, that's fine. Yeah, Lulu Lu is it? Lu Luciano, Luciano Massiello, Luciano, yeah, Luciano Massiello. He, he is taking me everywhere he's been in those days. If you if you manage Bromley, he'll take me. He'll come with, if he managed Barkin, he said, Mecca, come and play for me. If he managed Andover, the same thing. And when I when he played for Andover or, or Bromley, I get a drink. I wasn't a professional. I just come and play for them. And at the end of the day, you get a drink of, in those days, 70 quid. 70 quid. You get in your hand. Just have a drink. Well, I can't grumble to that. I earn more playing for semi professional I did for. Professionals, did you get that, Mav? I got that, Mav, did you get that, or did you miss it? I know, I got that, Mac. I got that. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> they paid you, boom, give it to you, so have a drink. And that's it. You know, so, yeah. So, Luciano. Luciano and Luciano Martello and David Pleat. Yeah, Mr. Plates, Mr. David Plates, mm -hmm. Mr. David. That's what I've always called him that from, from the beginning. I used to call him Mr. Plates. And, was that um, was that a respect thing? Because he's your yeah, boss. respect thing. That's what that's what I was brought up. Yep, that was how, how I was. Um, you never not called him me. kind of coach or gaffer or boss. No, or no, no. Sometimes once in a while he must slip out. I call him hey bo boss or something. But generally yeah. at the beginning it was Mr. Plates. I'm sure when he didn't pick you, there are other words you used, Mecca. <laughs> but, but I'm sure again, when he I'm didn't sure pick you, there were other words you used instead at home. Oh, yeah, I'll break his door down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break his door down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break his door down. Yeah, David Pleat. Um, yeah, I've had a few things with David Pleat, I tell you. There was a time when um, we finished training. We finished training. And I was heading home. All of a sudden, I looked in the mirror and I saw his car. He used to drive a senator in that in those days. Can you remember, Marvin? A what? Senator. Senator oh. car, the car. Senator. No, never, never. Don't know what they what, what Voxel. What make that? A Voxel. Yeah, Voxel. That's right. That's Andrew. right. Andrew, wow, look at you. And my old man worked for him. I'm from Luton. <laughs> of course he worked for him. 
didn't so, know, but I didn't, I didn't know you knew the car because it's it an older car. I didn't never heard of it. So I want to, I wanted to lose him. I want to lose him. He was in the same way. He got to a traffic you. light. Pardon? He was following you, was he? He was, I don't know why he was following me, but he was behind me. Okay. All of a sudden, the light changed. And I thought, I'm not stopping here. I went through the lights so in those he, days. So he got caught. So the following day, came into training, or the game. I think it was a game the following day. And after the team talk, blah, blah, blah. And he said, Mecca, what's this yesterday? You dropped the lights or something. And I went, hey, it was only a yellow light. <laughs> and he said, I hope you know who you're passing to today. I hope you, who you're, you know who you're passing the ball to today. So I should have said amber, amber lights. I said yellow lights, you know? So that's it. He's quite funny. He can be quite funny and yeah. drop things in. Let me play. Good man. He's worried about if you could. He worried about if you needed new glasses or you did, couldn't see. That's them. right. They didn't. They didn't expect savers in those days. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't expect savers in those days. So yeah, yeah. Let me play. Do you know one other thing that drove me to Luton? One of the things that drove me to Luton, even though who uh, Lennon Lawrence was at Chelsea at the time, I could have gone to him. I could have gone to Lenny Lawrence. Um, but there are so many black players at Luton. Right. There are so many black players at Luton. I thought, mm. yeah. To feel at, to try and feel at home. Are you right. with me? You want to be Just, com yeah, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, comfortable. You know, head for, even though Spurs were asking, I think Arsenal, West Ham were asking, my mind just went straight to Luton. Luton, and um, yeah, the lads were all right. I didn't used to, I didn't used to drink at Luton. I used to be the so driver. So all I, all I, all I remember as soon as you just said that, now a thing came into my head about what, what? you used to say. You go, ice water, Can ice water. Drink? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, ice water, ice, ice water. water. Good man, good man, ice water. And um, yeah, yeah, some great times. Some yeah, so we had them. Um, used to we used to go to. I didn't used to go out with them. I used to. And initially, I used to start home. I would finish training, go home. And then John Moore said to me once. He said, "Mecca, why are you going out with the lads?" He said in Scottish accent. You go out with the lads and have a drink. You know beer or something why go home i just didn't take any notice until one day somebody rang me it was um andrews mende the boxing boxing promoter boxing promoter nigel ben he used to say to ricky and those guys say well, where's mecca why didn't mecca turn up he said oh, mecca just you know goes on he picked up the phone and rang me and said why why don't you come to the boxing dudes I said, okay, next time I'll come. And next time I did go. And, and that was it. It was it was fabulous. You used to go and watch Nigel Ben fights and, and all those guys. He was brilliant. Absolutely wow. brilliant. Back in that era, that would have been amazing, some of those, yeah. some of those big fights and the do's. Yeah. Um, so we always like to hear what yeah. you're up to these days. Um, yeah. What is it? Yeah, now. So what, what, are you currently, um, what are you currently doing at the moment, Becca? I still work as a pharmacist, but because of the pandemic, sometimes when I'm at, when I'm at home, after, instead of sitting, um, sit, sitting down on my hands, not, do, do, not doing anything, I thought, no, let me just venture into <clears throat> selling online. You know, it's no use sitting at home, not doing anything. Might as well sell online. So that's what I'm. I'm preparing at the moment. That's what I'm preparing at the moment to sell online, sell things online. Excellent. So is that pharmacist? Are you selling yeah, yeah, pharmacist like pharmacist or pharmacist online or pharmacist online? No, not pharma. I don't want to go. In, I don't want to go into um, medicinal drugs. I don't want to go into it. I just um, things like mugs and jewelry and all those things. Okay. You can do it from anywhere. 
if I went to Nigeria, I can do it from Nigeria. So it, it didn't matter. But I still yep. work as a pharmacist. Yep. And and work, is that pharmacist. website? Is that website up and running? Have you got? Have you got it up and running yet? It, I just I mentioned it to Marv, Marvin. Is in this morning or last night? I said uh, it will be ready in about a week or, or so. And he said to me that um, when you're uh, editing, by then I would have had it anyway. By then I would have had it, so you can stick it on there. Yeah, yeah we'll chuck it. We'll chuck it up um, on our on our all our social media. Okay, and um, we'll put it up on the advertising, um, dear Mecca. Okay, yeah. thank you. And, Fantastic. Um, I said I wanted to say a few things. Yes. 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 I hope I'm, I'm, I'm not taking your time up. What's the time now? Oof. Here, it's here. Over there in I thought it was going to be five minutes. It's I thought it was going to be five minutes. What did you say? It's one o'clock in the morning. Andrew, Andrew's got school in five minutes. He's a school teacher. He's got to start oh, school. Okay, Andrew. Minutes. What did you teach, Andrew? Uh, don't worry about that. I know you said that before. Is he really a school teacher? Yes, he is. I make a, he's a school teacher. Okay, yeah, what do you teach? Andrew, tell I him, teach uh, politics and geography. And geography, okay. Geography is not my, stre my strength at all. Politics, it's not, well. it's not my students either, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Andrew, Andrew, the way you are, if you're the same, the same way in front of your class, they'll be interested in the subject. I try to entertain them. Yeah, I try to entertain them. Oh, yeah. Them. If you entertain them, they'll absorb it. And they'll like yeah. you. They'll be interested in that subject. So, I hope so. I hope so. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Um, what I want to say to especially young, young people, I've said the first thing previously about learning, listen, absorb, and apply. Yeah? Whenever you're playing, you don't know who's who's watching you. Yeah. Always play to your maximum. You, you, you never know if you if you go there with a, an attitude and you don't play well. It could be it could be Chelsea or Manchester United or Arsenal watching you. Know so always play to your maximum. Always have another option. Not just not just football. When you say you're going to play football. Have another option. It could be anything. It could be a bricklayer. It could be an electrician. Are you with me? You can do yeah. online studies. There's so many things you can do. Chef, you know, there's so many things you can do so that if anything happens, in, you know, that you don't make it for any reason, for any reason, then you have something to fall back on. They said that um, a man who, who listens doesn't make, doesn't make mistakes. Somebody who listens doesn't make mistakes. Invariably doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, so. Um, the other thing is consistency. When you're playing, you have to be consistent. In your, in, when you're playing, you have to be consistent. And attitude, your attitude. What you sow, what you sow, so shall you reap. So they say, all right, a battery doesn't yield good apples. What? A battery doesn't yield good fruits. A battery does not yield good fruits. So okay. at, the end, at the end of the day, you need to have a good attitude if yes. you're going to go into professional football. Attitude must be spot on. And your mental strength, spot on. Yeah. Like we were saying earlier, if you're weak mentally, and if you're somebody who's... Um, um, if somebody were to say something to you that you didn't like, you go into a shell. You will go into a shell. So you have to strengthen up and have mental strength when you go into professional football. Go into professional football. Um, I've mentioned this before regarding um, managers not having. Um, man management skills. Mm -hmm. Yep. Man, man management skills. I mean, people have a go at, let me take an example. <clears throat> Ozil. Ozil? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah Arsenal, German, Germany, mm -hmm. former Turkish or something. Yeah. 
when he played for Germany, he was winning things. They gave him, gave him some sort of freedom. They put players next to him who were doing the work. They knew his limitations. Yeah. They knew his limitations. Let's talk, uh, uh, what's his name? Schweinsteiger. Was he Schweinsteiger was there at the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so one or two others. They bailed him out. So when they get the ball, give it to him. He's the one that can play. <laughs> right? No, you're right. You're right. Same with Alexis and, Sanchez um, at Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, Sanchez at Arsenal. If you don't believe in yourself, for youngsters, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So yeah, believe true. in yourself. You have to believe in yourself in anything you do, in any walk of, walk of life. You have to believe in yourself. Um, and remember that practice makes perfect. It won't, drop, it, it won't drop onto your lap. Some people have it naturally. But at the end of the day, practice makes perfect. Marvin, yes? Yes, Marvin, are you listening? Are you, are you sleeping? No, I'm not sleeping. I'm mega. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm engaged. I was no, you're listening right. to you. I was practice you're right, makes mega. perfect. Practice, I don't know, the, yeah. I don't know if the right perfect. word is. I don't know if the right word is perfect though, because I'm not sure if the right word is perfect. I think there's another. There's another. It will not be perfect, but that's the same. But Use any word that you perfect. like. Use any word that you like, but that's what they say. Practice makes perfect. You right? only get better if you practice. That's mm. correct. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. Um, and and the other thing. I'm saying this with them, um, <laughs> always be single-minded. Some players can be dragged away from, into something that they didn't believe in. Maybe drugs or whatever. Are you with me? Yeah. If you have your mind, your mind, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't, do it. don't follow someone else. Some temptation, exactly. don't follow someone else. Not for someone else, but these are the things that there are many things that could crop up in professional football. So, yeah, don't do it. And um, lastly, let me tell you something about Jake, fin Jake Finley. Just so I won't drop something in. Jake is one of the funniest guys. I just remembered it. I didn't remember it earlier. Okay. When we went to Oman, two things happened at the same spot. One, he were play, they were playing snooker, including himself. I didn't play, I didn't play snooker, I didn't know how to play snooker. And the ball rolled around the pot, right? He, somebody, he, tried, he rolled, rolled, rolled so many times and then popped out. And Jay quipped in and said, if, if, if Led had been in goal, he'd, he'd have gone in. He quit. He said, if Led, if Led had been in goal, he'd have gone in. I was one of them. And the other thing he said to me was, um, he said to me, Mecca, do you know something? If they turn you upside down, you can use your nose as a hoover. Did you get, <laughs> did you get that? If you turn me upside down, you can use your nose as a hoover. Can you believe? I didn't I see anything you know, funny. It was funny, but um, yeah, that's it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time, Mecca. Um, yeah. I really appreciate it. And it was great to hear from you. Ooh. And that was... There yeah, we go. Luton Town Town hat. Hat. The Luton Town hat is on. Hat. And that was uh, Mecca Nwajiobi. My best 11. Thank you, Mecca.